This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. Well, NBA Youngboy has boosted the numbers on Clubhouse. Now, Clubhouse was super popular during a pandemic, but the numbers have gone down. Mm -hmm. But according to academics, when Youngboy did that appearance on Clubhouse and joined and his entire fan base went on there, it went from being 60th on the App Store to being top five in a matter of days. It was number four. Yeah. I mean, he has a lot of fans. He's the the most streaming artist out there. On YouTube, yes. Yeah, so and then yeah, he took his sense. videos off YouTube. So, yeah. I mean, everybody wants to hear what he has to say. And he's on house arrest, so it's not like you're going to see him out and about doing too much. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, a Houston attorney has filed more than 1,500 cases on behalf of victims of the Astro World Festival tragedy. So the total number of plaintiffs in relation to the 10 deaths and 300 injuries is nearly 2,800 as of this point. We told you yesterday that Travis Scott has requested that one of the claims against him, uh, Jack Enterprises and Cactus Jack, be dismissed. That is his way of getting started, of separating himself from these lawsuits. And Power Book 2, Ghost, has been renewed for a third season, so congratulations. Shout out to 50. I don't think anybody didn't think that was going to happen. I mean, it's so popular, and it's so damn good, so. Mm Mm-hmm. So they're going to start shooting that in early 2022. Mm -hmm. All right, Tristan Thompson, he wants to get a gag order to silence his alleged baby mother. And so he uh, basically filed an emergency petition yesterday asking the judge to issue a gag order in that case, barring the parties, which includes himself and Marilyn Nichols, from speaking out about the case as it plays out in court. So in the documents, he claims that she's been doing interviews with the media, leaking personal info, and even taking to IG and other social media to spread what he says are blatant lies about himself and his family. He's just a mess. Mm-hmm. He is a mess. I, I mean, he's... Uh... All right, congratulations to Halle Berry. She did a speech during the celebration of Black Cinema. Stop letting awards measure our worth is what she had to say. Here is Halle Berry. I want to say thank you to the Critics' Choice Association for this wonderful honor. You know, when I started 30 years ago, there weren't rooms like this. I was often alone. I was only one of the few Black people in the room searching to find my value and searching to find my worth. Feel accomplished. So for 30 years later to be standing here, it's not only an actor, but not a director. Congratulations to her. She also got the People's Icon Award at the People's Choice Awards that happened last night. Cardi B presented her with the award that honors her contributions in TV and film. Uh, The Rock, he also got the People's Champion Award at that same thing. Kim Kardashian, Mm -hmm. she got the Fashion Icon Award, and here's what she had to say. I stop as a closet organizer and a stylist, so the fact that I'm winning a Fashion Icon Award, it's like a pinch me moment. Thank you to Zach Posen, who dressed me and took me to my first CFDA Awards, and so many amazing designers like Ricardo and Olivier that really believed in me and will probably were like talked into it by getting a call from Kanye, so. Thank you, um, you know, to Kanye even for really introducing me to the fashion world. You know, you forget about that. She started out as a closet organizer, Mm -hmm. organizing people's closets in L.A. That is crazy to where she is today. That is that's that's crazy. All right. And we have a big announcement to make also in the rumors. Apparently, we have an author amongst us, DJ MV, a.k.a. Rashawn. And Gia Casey have a book coming out, Real Life, Real Love, Life Lessons on Joy, Pain, and the Magic that Holds Us Together. Yes, you can pre-order that book now. We talk about everything in the book. Uh, This book is a guide, and uh, a lot of times when when people are in relationships, they don't talk about their relationships. They only talk about the good parts. So when people are going through problems, they don't know what to refer to. So in this book, we talk about everything. Gia and I have been together 27 years. We've been married 20, so we talk about everything, insecurities, uh, raising kids, forgiving, cheating, uh, you name it. Everything is in that book. We detail everything. We, we we dive deep. So during the pandemic, when everybody was at home chilling, we were finishing up this book. It was a lot because we had to relive a lot of those things that we've been through. But the book you can pre-order right now. Shout to Abrams is uh, 256 pages. There's pictures so you can see. So we we detail everything, how we first met, how we first started to talk, how we keep the relationship lively and 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 sparks still and we talk about sex life and everything everything that is holding a relationship together we discuss and we talk about so hopefully we can help some people out there that are in relationships or in marriages or 
or not and, and just try to help them keep it together. So we're excited about that. So you can pre-order that Spicy. right now. Uh, Abrams Books. You can pre-order it at uh, Barnes & Nobles. Anywhere you buy books, we're super duper excited. It's real life, real love, life lessons on joy, pain, and the magic that holds it together. And now we talk pain, about everything. Is that about the um, situation you had? What situation you talking about, you fool? <laughs> the toy that you got caught Shut with. Shut up. That was, that's not real. But we talk about that, too. So we talk about everything in the book. Just what keeps our relationship together and, and how we raise our kids and how we talk to each other, how we communicate, uh, how we started. Because it wasn't always like that. Our, our insecurities, I know we, we spoke about earlier how I was a very insecure person. I didn't want Gia to wear, uh, like, tight clothes or any like we, we go through the whole thing how it changed me and our relationship with god so pre-order the book man we're excited man i can't wait for you guys to read it it comes out next year but you can pre-order it right now i admire gia so much for dealing with you you know it's like she already has six kids before this last one just came shut up <laughs> I no but too. shout out to you guys so congratulations on that i heard she um used to be mad when you used to wear tight clothes too Yo, shut up. I saw those pictures of you when you were younger, where you had them little shorts on. I know she was like, Amber, you are not going out in that. My mother showed you that picture. Yeah, yeah she did. That. She did. I right, that. My, was it your mom or your dad? I can't remember, but one of them. Thanks. When I tell you those, t listen, I can see why she'd be mad. Like, All right. Not going out like that. That is your rumor report. Now, up next, donkey of the day. Who you want to give donkey to? 800-585-1051. Phone lines are wide open. You can give donkey of the day to whoever you want. So call us up right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. We'll